Alright, hello and welcome to another programming video. I haven't done one of these in, you know, quite a while, but that's okay. Uh, this one I made a simple chatbot, and I'm about to demonstrate it to you. Um, one second, let's see what... Okay, so, I was originally going to make an RPG game with this, and I might still do that, but probably not. Um, so I was originally going to make an, an RPG game with this. So, I just took uh, one of the random people that I had in it, and I made uh, her with air quotes into this chatbot. So her name is Ameline, or however you're supposed to pronounce that. That's how I pronounce it. So I'm right because it doesn't really matter how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, so that's her name. She's not that complicated. I programmed her from scratch in C sharp. Here, there's, or er, well, th this is what her data file or one of the data files looks like. Um, just some random code. But anyway, um, and she does not have very good memory. Well, I mean, she has an excellent memory for, for what she remembers, but she doesn't really remember the conversation very well. All she really does is recognize responses. So if I were to say, like, my name is Fusion, she'll say, sure, I can call you whatever I like, and then I'll be like, what's my name? Or what is my name? What do you call me? And I didn't individually program in all of those responses. She just happens to know what it is. And and on the last one, she just says, sure, I can call you whatever you like. That's because what she, and now if I ask her what's my name, she'll say, is what you told me. Um, or what do you mean? Because one of the, the, the ways to tell her to call you something is call me. And that's the one it matched the most. The system works by, it finds, it goes through all the options on all the res uh, all the options, and it finds the one that it matches the most. So, it happened to match the one that's like, you know, changed my name the most, so... Uh, no, not yet. Okay. And that's just what happened to be... It, it just checks for how many words match, and whichever one has the most matching words, it uses. Or if it's a perfect match, then it, it will almost always use that one, because it's a perfect match. So she can do some other things like what time... It's 12.31.13, I mean, that's not that complicated. You would be like, what is my favorite color? Yeah, and every 10 uh, entries, she asks you if you want to teach her something new, because, I don't know, I figured why not. Um, and if you don't want to, you can just type stop, so. What's my favorite color? What is your favorite color? Uh, purple. Yeah, um, and then you can say, like, I like the color um, olive. And then she'll say, I like olive, too, just because. And then you can ask her again, what's my favorite color? And she'll respond with olive. Uh, you can also ask her for, give me a random color. And she'll give you one of like, I think there's like 400 possible. Because it has 30 base colors, and then it has light and bright for, it is light, bright, deep, dark, and nothing for all of them. So there's like 150, I think, is about right because there's five, and then there's, yeah, so, yeah, because it could be bright, it can be light, it can be deep, it can be dark, or it can be normal, and there's, like, 30 colors. Actually, I think there might be more, so you never know, but, yeah. And then you also ask her to be like, what is, I'm just going to, it's a random number. And as, as with all chatbots, she obviously works the best if you type croc correctly, if, and 25 and she'll give you some random number that's in that range. Or I can say, what's a random number? And she'll give you some ridiculous random number. Or be like, what number am I thinking of? And she'll give you some number. I believe I, believe I set the range to that for 10 to 1,000. I don't recall exactly what I made it. Because obviously most people don't guess, or I think it was zero two thousand. Because most people don't guess numbers above one thousand. It's like, what number are you thinking of? Three hundred ninety-two thousand eight hundred fifty-six. That's that's no normally not what happens. So if you say what number are you thinking of, she'll just guess something that's less than a thousand because that's probably what it is. Actually, it's probably less than a hundred, but you know, I figured a, a thousand a little bit more comprehensive. So why not?
Which is, it's not like she's gonna, gonna guess it right anyway. It has to be like, you also can ask her what color am I thinking of. And then she'll just guess some random color. And she's probably not right, because there's like 100 different, 150 different combinations for it, but whatever. Um, and then there are a couple other things she can do. Um, this is if, if all you want to know is just know about this, then this is all you really need to watch. Uh, you can download it in the description, and there's a forum post about it which will contain all of which contains all of this data. So you can go read that, which is also in the description. Um, but if you want to stay, I'm going to teach you how to teach her, how to tell her she spelled things wrong, and how to um, like program in new responses. So okay, one thing. Okay, so how to teach her? You. You, either you can teach her every 10 questions, or you can just type teach. She'll say, do you want to teach me something new? Type, type a Y if you want to teach her something new, and if you want to delete something, I'm not going to delete something until after I teach her something. So Y, and then she says, what should I recognize each? Uh, so for example, let's say you want to teach her what is the meaning of life. And there, that's all you have to do. I'm going to add another couple. So if you say like, what's the meaning of life? Or you can say, uh, what does life mean? And, and these are all combinations she'll recognize as going back to this one response. I'm going to type options done. So when you're done with all of your options, on a new line, type options done. has to be all in capitals and press enter. Now she'll say, what should I respond with? And this is the, the exact same way. You can say, like, the meaning of life is 42, just because that's the first thing I thought of. 42 and, like, life means 42. This is just a little bit more natural because people don't phrase it exactly the same way every time. Most of my things don't have multiple responses, but a couple of them do. And then once you're done here, type response done. Not responses, done. Response done. And type enter. She'll say, if everything goes well, she'll thank you. Now you can say, what is meaning life probably? And she'll still get, yeah, what is meaning life? Even though those doesn't make sense and she'll cycle through those responses randomly and hooray you just taught her something now if you want to unteach her something so you type no here no does not mean i don't want to do anything stop means i don't want to do anything if you if you ever accidentally get to this menu just type stop and she'll quit type something you want me to forget i'm going to say what is life's meaning she should still get this yeah okay and then i'm going to say really is it really leave this y or n I'm going to say why, and then she deletes it. Now when you ask her, she doesn't even know what it means. What is life's meaning? It is now 1231. Like, that, does, that doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one thing. Um, another thing you can do, it's a little bit more complicated, is I'm going to say, I think the meaning of life is, and then I'm the meaning of life. Actually, that was kind of redundant, but whatever. Um, Life means to me. Now options done. Because you can also have a little bit of like some a couple of, uh, XML tags in the response line. So for ex uh, that, so you can like do a little bit of like actual scripting there in case you want to have something that's not always the same. Like if it, for example, with a header tell like my name is Kaitushin, then she can remember it. This is how you do that. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ever respond with like, like blank sounds good to me too. So what you type is set, and then in here you, you always have to do set before get if you want it to actually work properly, because otherwise it will um, get it even if it doesn't exist yet. So like it goes in line, like in, in order. I mean not in line. Um, set. So um, there's a bunch of things you can do here. Pretty much what you do is you type into. And then you type the variable name, whatever you want. Life meaning is what I'm going to use. Um, but uh, and then you can put anything in here. Like if I were to say 42 into life meaning, now life meaning equals 42. It's it's like typing life meaning equals 42, except for it's a little bit more natural. But um, the actual command we want it's called call words. And what it does is it takes everything out of the uh, whatever they typed in, it takes all of the words that are in the options out. So if they typed in, I think the meaning of life is 42, I is in the option thinking, or I think, what, okay, whatever. Um, I, I just occurred to me that I typed that wrong, but if they typed like the meaning of life is 20, 
because 20 is the great number or something. Then what it would take out is the, because it's in both meaning, because it's in both of, because it's in both life, because it's in both is, because it's in both, and then it would just leave 20. And that's how you like, that's how you, that's how I get the inputs for this. So then I'm going to do, and the set tag, and then do get, and then I'm going to say, uh, get, uh, life meaning, the variable we just created, is what life means to me to now we do response done. Now you'll see, uh, no you cannot. Oh, uh, now you'll see, uh, if I say life means, uh, 42 to me, and then she'll say 42 is what life means to me too, because she, she cut out all the words, she got 42, and then she just appended is what life means to me to it. And that's pretty much how she recognizes everything. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna teach her one more time, because now we have this variable that I'm gonna leave in here. Um, what is the meaning of life? What does life mean to you? And do option is done now. And now I'm gonna say, uh, life means get life meaning get to me. And because we're gonna have that variable here anyway, so if you say, what does life mean to you? She'll say life means 42 to me. And I guess that's relevant. Um, just in case you ever get to ask, you can also, ask, you can also convert binary and stuff. So what is 20 in binary? And she'll say, you know, I can try, I think it is. The reason why she says that is just in case you, you type in something she doesn't expect and she parses it completely wrong, then she's not saying it is, I think it is. She can also do what is in hex, uh, no, I'm just, I'm just like hex, because she recognizes, she should recognize hex, hexadecimal, yeah, okay, oh, it's actually really convenient, there were, there were no numbers in it, and now what is in octal, the, yeah, she says, I believe I can, because you can also say, like, can you convert this to octal, and she'll say, I believe I can. And what is this an octal? I believe I can. Doesn't make much sense, but you know, whatever. It's the right conversion and whatnot, so I'm not complaining. And, uh, right, so I'm just gonna tell you a couple more things. Um, I'm gonna go over here. No, not there. Not there. There. Okay, so here I have a list of everything you can do. What it is, is these are the reserved variable names. For example, you cannot use time. Because if you if you do time, then it will give you the current time and date. If you do binary hexadecimal octal, you cannot use those because those are those uh, return the value stored in the variable binary param hexadecimal param octal param in the right base. It does not. You cannot use them to, to store data. Actually, you can use all of these to store data, but if you do, then they will stop working. So don't do that. Um, Right, get memory, it returns the value of a variable specified, you specify by an index, that means like the y by number, so if you want the first thing on the list, you type zero. If you're pro familiar with programming, you understand how this works. If not, the, the thing starts, at zero, starts counting zero, not one. Um, and it also recognizes the keywords last and first, so you can say get memory last, and it'll get the last thing you remember, is get memory first, and it'll remember the first thing you remember. If you do random color, it will return a random color along with a shade, which is either bright, light, dark, deep, or nothing, which just means there's nothing special. So it gives them like dark chartreuse, or bright yellow, like brown, like tan, deep tan. Occasionally it'll give you ridiculous things like dark white, but, eh, you know, whatever. Uh, random returns a random number. I, if there's numbers in this random params, which is a variable name that you also cannot use, um, then it will give it inside of that range. If there is not, then it will just give you a random number that's completely ridiculous, like 20 billion or something. I think I think I got like 20 million or something once, but she gives all sorts of weird numbers if you just say give me a random number. Um, data file size, that returns the size of the XML files that are used to store their data. So if I say, what is your file size? I think she'll get this. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, executable file. but. Here's exe file size. This returns how large the X, 
uh, the executable file is. If I say what is the size of your data files, she should ask. Um, well, I, I know I can ask her what do you know. Yeah, and then she'll say, I don't know that much. Yeah, not very much at the moment. My data file is only 10,807 bytes. And so there's a couple other responses to that one too. Not very much at the moment. My data files are only. And there we go. At the moment, my data files are only 10,000. So it counts for that much data. There's like, there's like a couple others, I think. But that's pretty much the gist of it. That's most of it. Oh yeah. Also, one one more thing that you can do in the set command, you can type quit, and it will quit out of the program. And to leave the program, you just type goodbye, and then you leave. And she will save all of your data in here in these two files. So thanks for watching.